Left 4 Dead Survivors, also known as Left 4 Dead Arcade, is the Japanese port of the original game, released for the arcades in 2014. It was developed by Taito, in collaboration with Valve and Nilo Inc. The first major change to note about it is the different cast of survivors. This change was made to appeal to the Japanese audience. There's Yasuke Kudo, replacing Nick and Bill, Haruka Hirose, replacing Coach and Francis, Sarah Kurishima, replacing Rochelle and Zoe, and Blake Jordan, replacing Ellis and Lewis. I find it hilarious that they replaced beefy, tough guys like Coach and Francis with a young Japanese high school student, Lamao. Before the game came out, it was known as Project Z when the teaser trailers were released. On April 30th, 2014, it was revealed that Project Z is actually Left 4 Dead survivors. It used something called Nessica.net for its online multiplayer services, but on July 26, 2017, the servers were taken offline and hence the game was limited to being single player or local co-op if there were more than one cabinet in an arcade. Speaking of the cabinet, it was much more efficient than whatever they tried to do with Half-Life 2 Survivor's cabinet. For this one, there's just one mouse for the right hand and a V-like controller for the left one. That's it. On March 2019, the game files were leaked and the content from the game made its way to the official Left 4 Dead 2 workshop. And also thanks to this leak, the community was able to make this PC build of the arcade port. When you load it up, it asks you for SVP points and credits. I'm not sure how this all works, but I think credits get you SVP points that you can use in the game. There are 13 campaigns to go through, all of them are listed on screen. You must have noticed that there's no The Last Stand on there. That's because it was released after the game went offline in 2017. That also means there's no common infected from the first game on campaigns from the first game, no versus survival, no counter-strike weapons, and no shovel or pitchfork. The map themselves are pretty much like the actual game, apart from some very minor edits to make them linear, and there are some floating arrows that constantly appear to tell you where to go. For a PC game, these arrows would be jarring to see, but for an arcade game, it makes sense, because there's a time limit and you gotta blast through the map fast. There's also objectives listed on screen to let the players know what to do. This feature was added in for players who were completely new to the series. The HUD for the game isn't that drastically different, but it does have some new additions, like a timer, the progress meter, the SVP points counter, and of course, new portraits for the new survivors. A lot less cluttered than Half-Life 2 Survivors HUD. Also the game is heavily censored like the German and Australian versions of the original game, so there is no blood and gore to look at. Kind of ruins the fun, honestly. What's a zombie game without the blood? But apart from all that, it's just basically Left 4 Dead 2, but with different survivors and that's pretty much it. I guess you can turn the normal Steam version to look something like this as well by using the workshop add-ons, or you can turn it into something even worse. Hope you found this interesting. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.